Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Don't forget to like and share. Hey, this week we're talking about the confession of our faith. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. We will have what we say. Our mouths are important. So I want to encourage you today. We're coming in, the world calls this flu season. And everybody's so concerned. Oh, I'm going to get the flu. Oh, I'm going to get sick. Oh, I'm going to get a cold. I want to encourage you. You don't have to receive that. You know, the Bible tells us Jesus, by his stripes, we were healed. And he took our sickness on the cross. He took our sickness when he took those 39 stripes. And so many of us have conditioned our lives for so many years to say, well, I guess I'm supposed to get sick. So as soon as the devil comes knocking on our door and tries to present sickness to us, we just say, well, okay, I'm just going to lay down and take it. And that's not God's best for you. Listen, it, it's time we resist the devil, and he has to flee. And one of the ways we resist him is with the word of our testimony, a spoken word. And that word of our testimony is we believe the word of God. Our testimony is that by his stripes I am healed. So right now, let's just confess today. You know what? Jesus, I confess that I am healed. I confess that I don't have to have the flu just because everybody else is getting the flu. I confess that you said in Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, that your name is the Lord God who heals me, Jehovah Rapha. And you said that your stripes healed me. And you said that above all things, you pray that I prosper and am in health. So today, I confess, I walk in divine health. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, does that mean your body won't ever be attacked? No, of course the devil's going to attack you. We live in a cursed earth. But your confession will begin to change the direction of your life. And sometimes people say, well, pastor, I tried that and, and, and I got sick anyway. Listen, it takes time to turn the Titanic around. You've been going one way for 50 years or 30 years. And it's, as you begin to start that confession, you've got all this negative momentum. that can, You begin to use your confession. It begins to slow that down, stop it, turn it around. And it might take a year or two, but I'd rather spend a year or two aligning my life to the Word of God as opposed to spending the rest of my life taking whatever the devil hands me. There's power in your confession, friends. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.